So are you thinking that your Facebook account is private? Well, you might be surprised. I'm going to show you a couple of settings to change on your Facebook profile to give you the best protection. Let's jump in. So first, you're just going to head over to Facebook.com and sign into your account. And we're just going to go up to your little photo up in the top right hand corner. Click on that. We're going to go to settings and privacy. Click on that. And we're going to go to privacy checkup. And this is sort of a built in feature that that Facebook added not that long ago that really kind of walks you through all the steps that you need to ensure. So we're going to start with up here who can see what you share. All right. You're going to click on that and it's going to take a look at some of the different things. You click continue. So it's going to walk you through everything that's on your profile now and what the setting is. So there's really four settings. So it starts with your birthday, right? So right now it's set that only I can see my birthday. Well, maybe I want people to, to wish me happy birthday. I'm not concerned about that. So I can click on that and you can switch that to public. You can switch it to friends. It was on only me or custom, which will allow you to select certain friends on your list or certain groups on there. So I'm going to say, let's make that public, right? So we'll click save. So that's public. Now my year, maybe I want to just keep that private. So we're going to leave that like that. My address. So I don't think that people need to know the city that I live in. So I'm going to keep that as only me. And then friends and followings, right? Who can see your friends list on your profile? So I'm going to make that only friends, right? So we just want the people that are already part of that. I don't want them knowing who else I'm connected with. And who can see the people pages unless you follow that? I am also going to keep that to my friends. And keep in mind, the difference is friends are people that you have accepted a friend request from. And then public is even if somebody isn't your friend, they can look at your profile and see all of these things. So that's why I'm, I'm very selective about what I want to keep available to the public versus what friends can see. We click on next and it has default audience. And this is who can see your posts. This one is very crucial. You want the who can see your posts, your stories. You want to make sure that that is just your friends because you don't need to be posting things if you don't want things to be posted that everybody can see, even if they're not your friends. Facebook is designed to be able to communicate with your friends. So maybe there's certain posts that you want to be public if you're running it for a business or something like that. And you can change that when you make those individual posts. And then you have down here, you have limit past posts. So you can change who can see your past posts that were public or on your friends list, anyone tagging in these posts and things like that. So you can limit that. And what that does is any of the past posts that were public, you're limiting that to only your friends now. So then you click on next and you have the option to block people, right? So if there's people that you were friends with or no longer friends with or people that are, are have found your profile or, or got their way in there, you can add people to your block list. So you can just click on that, search for the name and block them. You click on next and it's all set. So it reviewed your profile settings, your posts and stories and who you're blocking. And then you can click on review another topic. Next, we're going to go over to the next one over here and how people can find you on Facebook. So we're going to look at this. This is your friend requests and your phone number and things like that. So we're going to continue here. And you set this to who can send you friend requests. So you have two options here. You can have anybody, anybody who's anybody can send you friends if, if you just want to be able to accept from anywhere. Or you can just say friends of friends. So if you really want to kind of narrow the search, these are only people that you're already friends with and their friends. I leave this on everyone because, you know, maybe there's people that I friends with in high school that found me on Facebook that aren't friends with mutual friends. I want that to be an option. But again, you can always deny if somebody sends you a friend request, you don't have to accept it. So you can always deny that later. So we're going to leave that as everyone. Click on next. If you've added your phone number and your email, you can change who sees that. So it could either be only me or you can make that public or to your friends and things like that. I haven't even added my phone number and email, so it makes it even more secure that way. And then you can adjust if search engines can find your profile. What we're going to do is we're going to turn that off because I want people that are already in Facebook to be able to find me. A lot of phishing scams and, and spam and things like that come from search engines. So you can kind of limit this so that only people that are on 
Facebook already are going to be able to, to find you. So we're going to turn that off. And then you have, it has checked all those. And just by walking through a couple of those steps, you have a very secure Facebook profile. You can always go back in here and change that anytime if, if you're seeing an issue or you need to add somebody to your block list or you want to limit or narrow things down to start with. But my recommendation is always kind of narrowing it very focused when you, when you first start out. And you can always open those things up as you need to or as you see fit, depending on how you want to use Facebook. I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next video.